Is using I in your memoir self-centered? The answer to this question coming up. So I have a lot of students who come to me and they say, Wendy, you know, I keep using I over and over again in my memoir and it just feels so self-absorbed. Is that the case? Is that how a reader feels when they read my memoir? So about 10 years ago, I got the answer to this question. I had a student and she had turned in a summary of her book. And basically her book was about going from being a heroin junkie to marrying one of the richest men in Australia and living this life of luxury. And she wrote a lot about her plastic surgeries. And I thought to myself, okay, not necessarily the most interesting book. So it came time for her to turn in her first assignment and she floored me. She turned in prose. That was so incredible. It was so affecting. It was so insightful. I hadn't been expecting a lot from her. First of all, it was a book that didn't really have anything to do with my life. So never been a heroin junkie, never married for money, never had plastic surgery. I haven't even been to Australia. So when she turned in these pages, she taught me a really important lesson. And what I learned from her was that the more personal your writing is, the more universal it becomes. There's a strange irony there, but it's true. She had written prose that was so insightful and affecting that it became my story. She taught me that there are only so many emotions that a human being can feel. And so when she wrote about being a heroin junkie, I felt the desperation that I felt in my own life. And when she wrote about getting plastic surgery, I understood her sense of never being enough. So is using I selfish? Not at all. What did she do when she used I over and over again, when she told me her first person story? She gave me her story. Her eye became my eye. When I read her pages, I became her. I was the one living through her story, but it became my story. So writing in first person is not selfish. It's the gift you're giving to someone else. Your first person eye becomes their eye, it becomes their story. So I hope you enjoyed this very short video. Usually my videos are a lot longer. I tend to have a lot to say on most memoir writing subjects. If you'd like a free seven part video class on memoir writing structure, be sure to click the link below this video. And don't forget to hit like or subscribe. Take care guys, see you next time.